has to know that he's down on the judges' cards. I mean, uh, he needs to do something major, throw a big overhand right, something. Look at the way that he moves now. Watch, focus in on the left lead leg. It's, all, it's almost like he's moving with a limp, Kenny. Absolutely. Uh, that's got to be hurting him at this point. See that? Uh, See? You can get a good look at it. He's not on, on the ball of his foot anymore. Uh, he's kind of stepping more flat now. And there it is again. That hurt him. That hurt him. Corey's got to finish him right here. 30 seconds remains of the fight. Oh, wow. Nate Corey. I don't think we need to translate what that meant. I know exactly what that <laughs> meant. Can't come into the octagon and use the marathon technique. I thought he was doing the running man, personally. Well, that would I don't be know. the marathon technique. Like the running That's man. running. Yeah. Get it? Marathon, you run, Kenny. <laughs> I can go slower if you want. Quarry so Joe would have got that. <laughs> Quarry! Wow! Interesting technique by Quarry. He's throwing hammer strikes. <laughs> Corey wow. just obviously frustrated. What a performance by Corey, though. He did everything possible to make that fight an exciting fight. Unbelievable. He's changed incredibly since his last fight, let alone the ultimate fighter. Well, I think he told us the same thing that you told us. Not supposed to run or just be in a defensive mode. But Starnes was. And in all fairness to Caleb Starnes, very uncharacteristically he was. There it is, Quarry once again with those vicious leg kicks. I mean, he brought it. Listen to the crowd. The Canadian crowd is cheering for this guy, and he deserves it. Unbelievable. Yeah, they love that. The running man. <laughs> now, see, and now, now Starnes is ticked off. Now Starnes won't shake his hand. Nor is the corner of Caleb Starnes impressed. A little uncharacteristic of Nate Corey, but comical nonetheless. And right now, Caleb Starnes is getting booed like Marcus Naslin of the Vancouver Canucks would here Where at the Bell Center playing, if he had just Fuck scored you. a hat trick against Le Habiton, the Montreal Fuck Canadiens. You. But if there's something to be said by Starnes, he's 15 minutes too late. Nate Corey, very religious, raised a Jehovah's Witness, did not play any sports until later in life. Lost his father a few years ago, but he has a great heart and showed some great skills here this evening. As undoubtedly we are about to have the official announcement from Bruce Buffer of a unanimous decision victory. The Montreal crowd reacting to the to the man who's on the big screen. Now it starts with booze. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Doug Crosby scores the contest 30-26. Nelson Hamilton has it 30, 27. And Pasquale Procopio scores it 30, 24 for the wow. winner. And Logan Young, Nathan Rock Quarry. That may be the first 30, 24 that we've had in UFC history. That is as unanimous as it comes. Here's Kenny. How did you go from getting punched in the face to having this job? Because <laughs> I want that job. <laughs> Nate Corey, you won over this amazing crowd here in Montreal. Uh, did, did you think it would turn into a road race like it did? I mean, you did everything possible to push this fight. How frustrated were you out there? Uh, well, you know, no disrespect to Caleb. It's tough when you come out here to fight. Uh, I know a few times I've been hit to get the hell out of there. So I didn't mean to disrespect him or his camp. He's a great guy. I just, I came to fight. It's tough to, to land a shot when somebody's moving backwards on you. So I did the best I could. I apologize for not getting the finish. Well, I don't think this crowd is faulting you for that. You brought everything you could. I mean, talk about your striking skills. I mean, since the last fight, you showed I mean, just phenomenal Muay Thai. You threw every strike in the book. Uh, you know, tell us about what you've been doing with your striking game. I was just incredibly impressed. Well, I've, I've got to put it all to my coaches. I'm just a lump of clay in my kickbox, my Muay Thai coach. Jeremy Wires, uh, Mr. Daniel Burke, boxing coach Leonard Trigg have worked on me so much on my hands and on my clinch that, you know, it can't help but go up because I started from nothing. So it, it's all credit to them. Uh, 
Tell us about those kicks. And did you see that he was hurt with him? You obviously kept working that. Uh, he didn't really check him. You kept going with it. What did you see out there? Uh, I kept trying to land that hard 10 to the leg. I figured it would take some of his gas away, and it seemed to work. I, I should have been kicking him in the calves, I guess, so he couldn't move backwards as fast. But I, I did the best I could. Uh, I had so much great help coming up for this fight from the sports lab up in Portland, Oregon. Guys from uh, New Jersey Martial Arts came out, some black belts in jiu-jitsu. Tim and Marco came out to work with me. And it, it's just been an incredible camp. Not only did you win this fight, you won over this crowd. Congratulations, Nate. Well, when I... When I first came into the camp, when I, when I first came in, I heard some boos, and I, I know I, I didn't know how to feel like that. I was kind of like, yo, okay, but then as, as the fight went on, I figured if you can change, and I can change, anybody can change! Good job, bro. Unbelievable. And we thought that Matt Sarah was going to be Rocky IV. How good is that? Nate Corey showing a ton of personality and great and improved Muay Thai skills in front of the original Ultimate Fighter, Forrest Griffin, here tonight. And with his jersey Le Habitant, the Montreal Canadiens. Forrest Griffin set to take on none other than Rampage later for the title, but 